A grand view of the canal after lining. Notice its width. Another view of the canal after lining. And this is how it was before. To take care of sudden and unexpected flooding, three escape structures were specially constructed. About 4,000 workers were employed and the project was completed in record time. In keeping with Swami's assurance, the Sri Satya Sai Central Trust spared no expense, aiming at perfection. In all about 200 crore rupees were spent so that the people of Chennai would not have to go thirsty anymore. In recognition of all this, the Andhra government has now renamed the Kandaleru Pundi Canal as Satya Sai Ganga. Coinciding with Swami's 79th birthday, the Andhra government decided to release water for Chennai from Kandaleru. Welcoming the release, engineers of Tamil Nadu Waterworks performed puja at Kandaleru prior to the release on 23rd of November 2004. This is a photo taken on that occasion. After puja, the engineers joyfully watched the water flow out of the Kandaleru Dam towards Chennai. After waiting for more than half a century, a dream was at last coming true. The water released at Kandaleru on 23rd November reached zero point at the Andhra Tamil Nadu border at 6 p.m. on Monday, the 27th November, 2004. Interestingly, this happened to be Bhagwan's birthday according to Telugu calendar. Thus, both the release of water at Kandaleru and its arrival at Chennai coincided with joyful and most sacred festivals. This is the photo taken when the water had just reached the zero point. Next morning, some of the residents of the villages near zero point celebrated the arrival of Sai Ganga water besides expressing gratitude to Bhagawan. We will now take a tour along Satya Sai Ganga, starting with the Kandaleru Reservoir. A grand view of the huge water storage now possible. A close-up of the special reinforcement of the reservoir wall. This is the channel that brings water from the reservoir to the dam in Kandaleru, from where water is released to Chennai. This shows the road above the dam shutters. Notice the name of the board. Earlier, the name that appeared was Kandaleru Pundi Canal. After its rebirth, Blessed by the Lord, the canal now has a new name, naturally. View of the channel leading from the sluice gates to Pundi. Water flowing out of the sluice gates towards Chennai.
And now, Sachasai Ganga is on its way to quench the thirst of millions in Chennai. A view of Sachasai Ganga as it gently flows south towards Chennai. This is Swarnamukhi River near the sacred town of Kalahasti. Believe it or not, Sachasai Ganga flows above the river through an aqueduct below the bridge. The aqueduct is 770 meters long. A view of the canal as it emerges from the aqueduct. One of these several escape structures that have been built as a part of Swami's project. Thanks to Krishna water, in many places one sees lush fields. And this tollway near the canal is liked not only by vehicles, but one of man's good animal friends. Another aqueduct across a small river. Here we see such a Sai Ganga emerging from the aqueduct. It's not all plain sailing. In some places, the canal has to flow in hilly terrain. Like the Ganges, such a Sai Ganga also offers scenic beauty. Here we see the hill has been cut to help the canal to flow. 